Let's start with the accessories. You'll find them right inside the opening of the free arm table here. And we'll just kind of go through these and then of course the videos as we get to like the buttonhole foot and the zipper foot, we'll get to use them in their specific uses. So we'll just kind of go through everything. So first off, these little thread nets. If you ever have any thread that is not coming off the spool the way it should or it's getting a little loose on it, you can slip these over your spool and contain them nicely. Your buttonhole foot, here we'll just go for the big things first. Your buttonhole foot is great because you have a place right back here. You can set your button in and it makes the perfect buttonhole sizes all the way through. And after you do your buttonholes, you can sew them on with the button sew on foot. These blue little toes will keep the button from slipping away. We have some great tools that you'll reach for for cleaning and also a seam ripper is in here too. If you're using two spools you can, or a spool with stacked thread, meaning the thread lays right up the spool. This is a vertical spool pin sits on the top of your machine and then it lets you put the spool on and it will spin right off. You have a seam guide. This can go on the back of any of your feet and um, you can have it measured out for one inch, two inches and any seam allowance in between. You do need to oil this machine so make sure you're oiling and cleaning about every two to three bobbins. Speaking of bobbins, we've got three in the little bag here but there is one in the machine so you have a total of four. Bobbins are not a mix and match so make sure that you are using the exact proper size and type made for this machine. Get those at your local Bernina dealer. Got a little pack of needles but you'll definitely need more than what comes with it so have a nice variety when you uh, next time you're shopping for needles. Spool caps depending on your spool size like this one we're going to put the bigger spool cap on and spools with a little bit smaller end cap you can put a smaller uh, spool cap on. It kind of holds it especially when it's on the horizontal spool pin. A little uh, felt pad usually I put this on here for my threads that I'm putting on the vertical spool pin. This helps it so they don't spin away quickly. The little um, felt kind of helps with the resistance. Okay, last three feet here, plus a screwdriver. The screwdriver is nice and short, easy to get to the, some of those screws that are kind of in tight places. And so keep that nearby. We have an overlock foot, foot G, and your, you have a little guide. So when you go right next to the edge of the fabric, the stitch is going to cross over the little pin in here, but help keep you nice and guided and even. I love that foot. Especially if you don't have a serger, you'll be using that a lot. If and when you're sewing zippers on, you've got a zipper foot and depending on what side of the zipper on is, you can go ahead and attach it either on the right or the left side. And then this foot is going to look very similar to your regular foot, but when you flip it over, it's got this great cutout. This is going to be good for your decorative stitches, anything with a, a stitch that's going to be heavily filled in. This is going to allow it to flow out the back and not get hung up before it actually, it, or as it's going smoothly. So keep all these accessories close by. You can store them away, then that way when you travel or if you go to a class, they're right with you no matter where your machine is.